Hey everybody, welcome back or welcome to my channel. My name is Kim and this is My Feather Nest. Okay guys, so here we are. We're into November. I can't even believe it. October just flew by. We have been so busy and have seen so many changes here at our farmhouse, like within our family unit. And so I will talk to you more about that probably in an upcoming video. Um, but this is my friendly reminder to get out there and vote. Um, so I think tomorrow, today is Friday, November the 1st. And me and my husband had the opportunity to go and do some early voting. And so we were able to do that. Um, it's our civic duty and educate yourselves. Educate yourselves before you vote. Educate yourself on the candidates, your local candidates, as well as our federal candidates. This is a big election this year. Um, so that's my friendly reminder. There's my plug. Get out there and vote. Anyway, um, so I want to go ahead today and show you some thrift haul goodies. Some of these pieces are ginormous pieces. So this is gonna be a little bit of a different style um, than what we typically do. But before we go into the big things, let me go ahead and just show you a couple of the smaller items that I have purchased. So do you guys remember, I, told, I shared one time how I had purchased an antique child's stove and I had intentions to turn it into kind of um, like a, like a centerpiece, like a table centerpiece, putting faux, um, like baked goods and whatnot and florals and just different things like that. No, I have not done that craft yet. That is why you have not seen it on my channel. <laughs> I was at an antique store here in my local area. I believe I've already mentioned it before. It's called the Pink House and it's in Williamson, South Carolina. She happened to have two old antique child's play stoves. And they were both only, she had a mark for just $6 a piece. This one, unfortunately, is, I don't know what was here. I'm sure it was something. Maybe it had a, like a little burner on it. I really don't know. Um, they're both in slightly rougher condition, but it's still really cute. So this opens. And I showed before, um, my idea for this is to put like a faux pie or faux cake in here. And then there is a lady that I follow on Facebook. She is just this amazing crafter of like wreaths and centerpieces. I think her name, I don't know what her name is, but I think she, her Facebook page might be called My Lord Reigns, if I'm not mistaken. Um, I believe I've mentioned her in the other video where I talked about play stoves. So she, she gets these certain like homemade um, dolls, if you will, and she uses them in her arrangement and then she kind of covers the side of it with like different like faux treats and faux fake bakes and different flowers. And, and it's just so cute. And although I would love to have one of hers, she's just amazing, but they're quite expensive. And so when you're a crafter, you look at things and you're like, I can do that. <laughs> so um, I went ahead and collected a couple more of these little stoves. I do really, 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 really want to do that. And I, I'm totally going to. Oh, I know it. I just know I'm going to do it soon. <laughs> so that one. And then there was this one. They're, like I said, these guys are in rough shape. But I think I can clean them up a little bit more. They're not supposed to be perfect. They're definitely old. This one opens as well. Nothing missing on the top. See, this one has a little bit more of, um, like, a little burners. But you can see all that rust. But I think if I clean them up some and kind of maybe shine them up a little bit, Regardless, even if they're in rough condition, kind of like this, I still think they would be really, really cute. And they're not supposed to be perfect. That's kind of what makes them charming. $6 a piece too. That was a really good deal. Super randomly, like super, super randomly. I found this really cute picture frame. You can see it's got different spots for smaller pictures. But who can tell... Who can be the first one to say why I chose this picture frame? If you said bee skep, you were right. <laughs> so if you don't know, we are beekeepers and I do have a little assorted collection of bee memorabilia, whether it be um, honey pots or just little things with bees on it. 
I've also made really pretty bee skeps here on my channel. Um, I will matter of fact link one of my DIY videos um, in an iCard so you guys can go back and watch that if you enjoy crafting and using bees as a part of your decor in your home. Um, so this one is so cute though because not only does it have the bee skep, it's kind of like a potting bench. And I just thought this was so, so precious. Now here's my bad thing. Tell me if you guys are like me. I'll buy like little frames like this and then I'll sit, sometimes I'll go ahead and do the next step by sitting them where I'm going to want to use them in my home. But then that's as far as it goes. I won't put pictures in them. I have done that countless times. As a matter of fact, in my bedroom right now, I have collected all these really beautiful crystal frames and I'm just determined that I'm going to put like my two daughters wedding pictures and just, you know, you know, I'm not a really big, like, I don't use a lot of family portraits in my decor. I don't know why, but it's something that I've been kind of wanting to incorporate a little bit more of in certain areas. And so I have this spot, like I said, in my bedroom now, but ask me if I have any family pictures in those frames yet. The answer is no, I don't. <laughs> so y'all just, y'all are my accountability partners. So ask me here in a month, Kim, did you put pictures in that frame yet? <laughs> so, um, but anyway, this was really super cheap. It was $2.25. Okay, guys. So this is a tabletop. I, I don't know if they're, um, maybe they have a special name. I don't know. I'm just calling it a tabletop mirror. Um, it does have two little drawers in it and they both work um, and it's got like this little shelf and then it's got the little tilting mirror. It's very dusty. Yes, I totally need the dust. Um, anyway, so I just think this is so, so cute. I thought this would be such a cute little thing either to paint um, or to be honest with you, the wood finish on it is just really pretty. I like the color of this wood, so it could just be used as it. I just thought that was so cute. And while we're at it, let me just show you. I just picked up this really cute sweater at Walmart. It was, they had some clearance sweaters and some clearance like lounge sets that included like yoga style pants and like the little like thinner type of sweatshirts that match them. This was only $11 and it says NYC. It's super cute. I, I typically will buy my sweaters in pretty big sizes because I like the look of them when they're kind of um, slouchy, I guess, if you will, and, and, and bigger. And I always try to do like a little half tuck. But um, I just thought this was so cute. I wanted to show you guys that really quick. Hey guys, so this is one of, I think this might be the newest of the three really big pieces that I've been wanting to share with you for a while. This thing is absolutely gorgeous. It is this old wardrobe and it does have two drawers on the bottom. Over here on this side, there's already a shelf and there are these shelves, two more shelves go in here. Um, and they have, there's like these wood pieces that hold them. But when they brought stuff in, these shelves kind of shifted. And it, like I said, it broke one of my hangers off. And it knocked off two of the wood pieces that hold the shelves. So I've got to get my husband to fix that. Um, but this thing is so beautiful. Um, I do not have any keys for it. So that's something else I'm going to have to try and find. I have decided that this wood um, is my all-time favorite. I do believe that this this is just my all-time favorite wood. It really is. And I, you guys, for my brain is kind of like putzing out on me right now. Um, is it oak? Oh, gosh. I think this is oak. I, I think. Um, but I love it. I just absolutely love it. It's in pretty perfect condition. Like there's a little thing out right there, but this ornate, um, detailing right there is just perfect. It's so tall, you guys, and so heavy. Um, I think our ceilings might be, I don't know. I don't know if they're 12 feet. I, they might be 10. They're either 10 or 12 feet. And you can see how tall this wardrobe is. I love it. And guys, I think I only paid, I feel like it was only like $175, which was a steal. So there's that big, beautiful piece. And then you guys saw, and, and excuse this mess right here. 
I, I, do you guys, are your steps like the catch-all? When we have something that goes upstairs, we'll throw it on the steps, and then sometimes it sits there for days. And these right here are just dog gates. They're, my dogs are not allowed to go upstairs, and I'm keeping them out of the family room right now. Anyway, so um, I do, I believe I have a story about this piece right here, and so I'm going to probably insert that clip right now. All right, guys, so... I have a story to tell you. There is an antique store here in Anderson that had a piece um, slightly like this one. Obviously, we have it just out on the porch right now because I'm getting ready to move it inside. Um, so this big mirror, you can see, look at that beautiful carving. The mirror kind of tilts or whatever. It's really, really big, y'all. Um, I don't know how tall it is, but it's it's quite substantial. It's quite big. Anyway, this obviously, this whole mirror attaches on here. And it's so beautiful. I love it. Look at the detailing. And then look at this. This is really neat. See that? Oh my gosh. It's like, it's not just dovetail. It's some kind of like scalloped edge dovetailing with, I don't know if the, I, I don't know, but I just love that. I just think that is so, so pretty. And that is what I love so much about vintage and antique pieces, even just the small details of the way things were made, the way things were put together is just so beautiful. Anyway, so this antique store here in Anderson, there's a piece that I have been looking at and I'll try and see if I can find a picture of it and, and show you. I would go into this antique store. I've taken pictures of this piece of furniture and I would just look at it and I'd go in just to make sure it was still there. Well, what prevented me from purchasing it is it was $1,500, which I'm sure is not a bad price for such a piece like this one. Um, it, Like I said, it looked a lot like this one, but the one for $1,500 was a bit bigger and it probably, it, it definitely had a bit more carving, a bit more detail to it. So anyway, um, beautiful though. Loved it. I was like, I want this so bad for my foyer. It would look so beautiful, but just $1,500 is a lot of money. So I was just dreaming. Well, lo and behold, I walked into another one of my favorite pickers kind of, I think it's called the Centerville Pickers Market. And it's kind of like, um, and it's an antique store, but you know, it's, it's, it's antiques and, and it's just, it's got a little bit of a variety of stuff. Anyway, I walked in there and I saw this piece, you guys, it was right at the front of the shop. And I was like, Oh, it's so beautiful. It looks so much like the other piece that I want. So I was like, let me just go see the price of this one. This one's smaller. So, you know, maybe it'll be a little cheaper. You guys guess how much I paid for it. Oh my gosh. It was literally $235. I, about fell out right there on the floor and I took a picture of it and I walked around the store. I texted a picture to my husband and I was like, look, I'm not ready to do the foyer right now. I'm like, but you just don't understand the this, this story behind this. And I was like, can I get this? And he, he of course, he, I don't think he ever tells me no. <laughs> so he was like, yeah, I get it. And so we went and picked it up and you guys, I am so in love. I'm so, so happy. So this is just a, an encouraging word for you. If you have dream pieces that you're looking for, don't lose heart. If you can afford the more expensive ones, then by all means do it. I mean, I wish money was no object and I could just do that. But if you're kind of on a budget and you know, you're trying to save money and you know, and stuff like that, then just be patient, keep watching, keep looking. And, you know, chances are you'll find your dream, one of your dream pieces too. Maybe not exactly the same. You may have to compromise a little bit, but seriously, I was so excited. It's so, so beautiful. But yeah, so you guys saw this in my, um, I think I fe finally featured it in my fall 2024 home tour. Um, you heard the story about it. This is another one of those, I believe, like I said, I think it's oak. Correct me if I'm wrong. Um, my favorite wood, though, in this piece is just absolutely breathtaking. It, it's amazing how much it matches that wardrobe over there. Like, honestly, it's so beautiful. I just absolutely adore it. And um, anyway, and then also, guys, in my porch tour, 
you guys, I mentioned about my big, huge, long, hey, Vinny. Vinny's got a boo-boo on his paw pad, and so I had to buy him a boot. He doesn't love it, but it's helping. Um, anyway, so I already mentioned about my big, long table that we have been using quite a lot on the side of the wraparound porch. And um, so you know the story about that. That was a great deal as well. Wanted a big farmhouse table for on this porch, something really long, because I am envisioning having Thanksgiving out here. We do live in South Carolina. And so usually Thanksgiving is beautiful weather. Like we usually, it's usually not real cold yet here. And so I think we could get away with it. I would, I've always wanted to do some kind of an outdoor Thanksgiving meal. I just think that would be absolutely fantastic. So I really wanted a big, long farmhouse table. Um, and so my mother-in-law and I were having, coming up with some ideas of ways that we could do it cheap. And we were like, well, we could always take, you know, two white folding tables, put them together and, you know, we'll put tablecloths over it. You know, I walked into one of my thrift stores that I go to around here and they had this handmade pine table. I was so excited because although I'm sure my husband could totally build this, he just doesn't have a lot of time. He's kind of thin on time. And honestly, they were only asking, I think it was $125. And I'm like, I couldn't even probably buy the materials for, for less than that, really. So I went ahead and bought it and I'm so excited. Now it did not have any chairs, but I want to do a mix match of different chairs. Um, I actually found these two at a thrift store. They were only $2.99 a piece. They are solid wood. Um, they're not, like, obviously they're not perfect. They obviously need painted. But in a way, I kind of like the chippiness of them. Kind of. I probably will paint them, though, to be honest with you. Um, because these might be a little too rough. You know, you can see the different colors. I wish, I wish this pink right here wouldn't have been off of this so much you know what I mean I, I I don't know I kind of like that that like 1950s pink right there but anyway um so um that is it as far as the thrift haul portion goes of this video um let me know what your favorite piece is I always like to hear what people say I know I don't have a, this wasn't a lot of things but it's like the big items to me furniture finding good deals on furniture is probably usually like Ah, never mind. I was going to say it was one of my favorite things to find at the thrift store, but that's not, that's not really true. I love finding the big, beautiful pieces, but I like finding my little trinket treasures too, if I'm being honest with you. Um, so anyway, let me just really quickly, I wanted to kind of just talk just a little bit about some Christmas 2024 plans that I have. So you guys, if you watched the walkthrough of Michael's Craft Store where I showed their Christmas decor for this year, you guys, I try not to spend a lot of money on holiday-related seasonal items anymore because I just have so much. Um, but usually every year I do pick up a couple things because it's fun. It's fun to get new things. You kind of get tired of things. I'm also a very themey person, so I like to change out my themes quite a bit. Um, and usually there's one store that will like inspire me the most. And I think this year, the store that has inspired me the most has been Michael's. And so if you have not watched that walkthrough, you guys gotta go. Um, I will link that right now. Make sure you watch it. It's just set to music. I don't even talk in it at all, but it shows you everything. Well, at least what my, my Michaels had at the time of filming in their Christmas department. Um, but that store has inspired me the most. I'm going to be showing you guys a Christmas decor haul really soon. So you'll see what I picked up from Michaels and other places. Um, but we are standing right now. We've been filming and I've been filming a lot of my thrift store videos here lately in this room. This is... I refer to it as my tea room. This is our parlor area or formal living room, whatever you your heart desires to call it. I, like I said, it's my tea room. That's what I call it um, because that is totally what it reminds me of. And um, I have decorated here, not every single year. 
Um, but a lot of times I will try to decorate this room and usually it's in a very feminine Victorian-esque, Victorian tea room type of Christmas um, decorations. And it's very pink in here and just very girly and very frilly. And so I have been inspired to decorate the room this year in a nutcracker theme. And I'm not talking about the red and the gold nutcracker soldiers. I'm talking about like the nutcracker ballet. And um, so you probably guess, you're probably, if you watched that Michael's walkthrough, you probably already have guessed some of the items that I did purchase from that store. Um, but you'll have to stay tuned for a haul. And um, I just wanted to kind of really quickly show you just a little glimpse of this room right now without any seasonal decor in it at all. It is a little bit of a mess because on this side, um, I have some plastic containers that have my like my tablecloths because I got rid of a dresser in here. And so I'm kind of in the midst of moving them. So overlook a little bit of the mess, but I just kind of wanted to give you a good base and kind of pick your interest. Um, for what's to come here for the Christmas 2024 season. You want to make sure that you stay on the lookout. Now, granted, this is not the only room I'm doing, and I'm definitely not doing an all-pink Christmas. That's just not my style. I'm very eclectic, and I like just different genres of just different styles of Christmas decor. But I just wanted to thought it would be a little fun to just show you this room right now. Like I said, you can see why it's called my tea room because you can see all of my collection of teacups and saucers over there. I've got teapot related items pretty much just everywhere. It's so feminine. It's just so feminine here. So it's just so gloriously pink. It really truly is. Um, I really like the way that I have the furniture placement in here right now. I kind of separated the room into two different areas by placing the couch here in front of the fireplace. And then there's plenty of room, of course, like I said, overlook my light ring and overlook these plastic containers. Um, that will be gone soon. But over on this half of the room, I have my mom's um, secretary with a lot of my mom's memorabilia. That's kind of like right there is like my my ode to my sweet mama who passed away um, about three, so I think it's like three and a half years ago now, which is absolutely crazy to me. Um, but anyway, you can see that, um, matter of fact, I don't know if I've ever shared this table. This is something that I picked up from a antique slash consignment type of store. I love, love, love this table. And once again, it's that, I'm like I said, I think it's oak. <laughs> but um, this table is glorious. It's old. It's on casters. It does have a leaf that I was able to get with it. It's in great condition. I think I paid like a little over $100 for it. Um, but I don't use the leaf. I just like it in here. I have it in front of the window. I've got the two chairs next to it. So this is kind of like the sitting area, an area that would be good to play a little game. I have this really cute glass chess board um, right here in the center. And of course there's more teacups. Um, what a great room for a ladies tea, right? A friend's tea, which I want to do for Thanksgiving. Look, be on the lookout for that. Anyway, um, so my plan is to put the Christmas tree right here in the front, right here in the center of the room behind the couch so that it can be seen. I think it would look really pretty from the outside with a Christmas tree in the window. And then I think what I'm going to do is move and shift the table this way. I'm going to have to figure out something to do with this three-tiered stand here, which, of course, once again, is filled up with tons of teacups and saucers. Um, this little lady right here, I don't know if I've ever shown her. She is this fairy lady, and I swear I had to have her because you see that face? That is literally my Grandma Lola. <laughs> I promise y'all, this is my Grandma and. This little thing has got rings on her fingers and she, her little glasses are bedazzled with some rhinestones and she's got some diamond earrings. This is literally my grandma Lola, y'all. Now my grandma Lola has been passed away for a long time, but I swear this, of course, my grandma Lola was a little chubbier than her, but that looks like my grandma Lola. I swear it does. <laughs> anyway, um, so this stuff will be changing. I just kind of wanted to show you where we're gonna gonna go. You can see I've already got a really good base for doing like a pink Christmas in here. Um, I have had 
Christmases in here before and I have shared it on my channel. So um, anyway, I just thought it would be a lot of fun to kind of share this with you guys. So you guys can kind of see where I'm going to kind of go um, with this room. I think it's going to be so much fun. I've got a lot of ideas. Hey guys, so that is it for this um, thrift store haul slash Christmas plans video. I hope that you have enjoyed it today. It's a little bit of a different um, style of video than I have done with my other thrift hauls, but I like changing things up. I like I like to keep it fresh and a popping. Anyway, I will see you guys. And it's like, well, let me invite you first of all, if you have not already done so, come and join the fun. Come and be a part of the best the best community here in on YouTube. And that is my story and I'm sticking to it. My subscribers are the best. This community is very, very positive and just super sweet. Everybody is so sweet and kind. Well, I don't want to say everybody. Most people are sweet and kind. Um, and so I would love for you to join our YouTube family, hit the subscribe button, hit the bell to be notified. And, um, like I said, share the video, like the video, give me a big thumbs up. Let me know in the comment section what your favorite piece was today. And um, anyway, so I will see you guys in the next video. I cannot believe it's November. It's crazy. And get out there and vote. Do it. This is your friendly reminder. Go do it. Go vote. Bye.